So the goal for you is to try and fill in the spaces with what your ear is already telling you should be there, but it's not, right? That's a great way of not only learning the environment of the guitar, but to develop your ear training, okay? So you're just playing various songs. Obviously, children's songs work really great because we've all heard them a million times. So you're taking the guitar and you're trying to figure out, okay, well, if I'm going to be at the fifth fret here and I'm going to play Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, I'm going to play... Um, you know, Amazing Grace or something like that. How would I find those notes, okay? I'm gonna start with just some note and then I'm gonna try and figure out where the next note should go. And see, that's how you develop that ear. So for instance, if I was going, um, let's say I was gonna do... You see? So you take that idea and you figure out... Okay, and then... Oh, that's terrible. No, I don't want to do that, right? And you keep doing it. Nope, that one's not right either, right? Then you come around. Oh, okay, well, there it is. And you keep developing that. So your, your, your inner ear is getting used to where things are in terms of pitch, but you're also getting used to where it is on your fretboard. Okay, so you're really getting two things for the price of one by doing those exercises. The same thing's gonna happen as we move into chords, but please remember that there are times when you're gonna wanna create melodies on the guitar that aren't necessarily just chords, but you're trying to find the melody. So you hear a song and you're trying to figure out where those notes are in your guitar. So you start using visual logic. If I move this way, the pitch goes up. If I move that way, the pitch goes down. And I know that seems obvious, but you just need to think about that. If I move this way, the pitch goes down. If I move that way, the pitch goes up. So if I'm on... I have to think, well, where is that pitch? Does it go higher or does it go lower? And then I have to think how much higher does it go than the other pitches that I've already played. So it does take a little bit of practice but you'd be surprised at how much you're gonna develop your ear by doing just simple little exercises like that with any song, doesn't matter what it is. Um, you know, my kids love SpongeBob, so you could use something like that. It could be all kinds of different things. But using single notes to develop those melodies and fill in the blanks. Once you get comfortable with those, we're gonna start doing the same thing with chords.